Say T-Y-B-G. What the fuck does that stand for? Drop that shit! I got my nigga base guy here. My son be on this pretty shit. Waterfront, very base. Oh, 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 Family shit, man. Shout out to X. Shout out to Florida. Who you feel like had the best cipher in the freestyle on that? No, B. Base guy. Base guy, boy. Like the game forgot about me at one point. The game shitted on me at one point. You feel me? Like the labels and you feel me. So I got a bone. I got a bone to pickle, motherfucker. And I got to stick up my ass. You feel me? Like you know what I mean? And, and, and I'm about to shit on a lot of motherfuckers. You feel me? Like. I said, Lil B made it okay to pay for pussy. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I was just, I don't know. I'm a big Lil B fan, so I used to like basically damn near anything he said was okay. Fuck me! Fuck me! Thank you, bitch, God. You can fuck my bitch. Pretty boy, clean. Boy, clean. Big a buzz. Big a buzz. Twenty five bitches on my dick. Not really to keep. You know what I'm saying the way it's going and shit. You know what I'm saying you know we. You know really you put the. You know what I'm saying the. Godly cap on. I feel actually like a, a, a base god of some type with this cap on. What exactly is a pioneer? Oh, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, when you see a lot of these rappers over the last decade do some controversial shit, for example, Young Thug with the outlandish outfits, the women's jewelry. Yeah, Lil B Ben did that, <laughs> and he got slandered for it. Big ass dick, young ass hoe, uh, go grill nigga, fuck your bitch. I would say around 2009 is when Lil B went solo after being with Bay Area's group The Pack. He started releasing hundreds of songs on like a hundred different MySpace pages and made YouTube videos with very little editing, low quality songs with bad mixing and mastering and created his own alter ego, The Bass God. Being based turned into a huge movement. He spoke in third person a lot, saying that he knew The Bass God and how he loved him as well. I'm in love with The Bass God. I'm in love with the bass guy. When we talk about Lil B's influence, we gotta talk about cloud rap. ASAP Rocky is one of the guys who brought it to the mainstream, but when Lil B linked up with Clams Casino back in 2010 with the songs like I'm God and Realist Alive, that really made people fall in love with that kind of rap aesthetic. My new name is Bass Guy, ice cream paint job, only come out in the dim lights, vampires like I did things that I wouldn't honor, take a minute out the day, take a second for karma. Who knows if Rocky would have ever really collabed with Clams with songs like What's Up and Peso early on in his career. Musically, I'm sure a lot of these new rappers got their influence from Lil B a bit. For example, on Lil Uzi's song Top. First I drop my top, hey, then I swear my cold, hey. I drop my car, then I drop my roof, well I watch my suits, that's just how I do, then I park my car, 
but he did pay homage to the bass god, so that's pretty cool. The song Low Pump by Low Pump wouldn't even be accepted today if it wasn't for Low B. Mama told me Lil Pump won't be shit. Just look at Lil Yachty with the whole different personalities with the Lil Boat persona, especially when he first came into the game with the song Intro on his Lil Boat mixtape. Lil Yachty and Lil Boat. But when it comes to how artists market themselves <laughs> and how the internet has become this tool that artists use for attention, that's when I think his influence is the biggest. It's the alter ego, the character, the base god. The idea of him as this personality kind of became bigger than himself. It was more than just the rapper Lil B. The base god kind of outgrew Lil B as an artist. It was extremely successful and it worked. All those memes, outfits, the use of the word gay and controversial bars in his music and weird tweets. <laughs> Being based could mean a lot of different things. The way I interpret it is just being random as fuck. Like, it's okay to be weird. It's okay to say whatever you want. But yeah, when Lil B says he's the rawest rapper alive, he means that shit, bro. <laughs> I got bitches. Bitch, fuck me. Uh, Bitch, fuck me. Uh, I'm fuck these hoes. I fuck who I want. Fuck who I want. Mm. I'ma fuck the bitch and I'ma catch the whole out. Bitch, bitch I'm R. Kelly. Age is just Woo. a number. Yeah. Working bad bitches. Nicki Minaj. I'm the finest bitch out. You feel me? Yeah, man, violate that bitch, bruh. I ain't give a fuck, man. Pretty boys, I look so good. I'ma violate that bitch. Fuck a mouth. Ah, suck a nigga dick, bitch. 30 off my dick. Fuck me. Bitch. 50 on my wrist, bitch. Fuck Kevin Durant, I'm flexing 10, I'm flexing 30. Call me Nick Young, I'm fucking bitches okay. in my jersey. Yep. Base God. Bro, I swear to God, I'm a go so fucking dumb. The bitch call me R. Kelly, I'm a fucker in the ass. What? Well, alright. Huh. <laughs> Fuck me. Don't get it twisted though, Lil B has a lot of lyrical songs. He's smart, he knows that the watered down, dumb songs are the ones that get the most attention. But deep down in the trenches of YouTube, you got gems like D.O.R. Battlefield with fast cash, you never grab it. I post up with big blunts in my sorority. Rick Ross, the new whip is big body. MySpace. I live life for the edge. So the beast, where you play games, you get your head broken to pieces. Haters don't say my name, but it's one of their nieces. Came a long way from checking heat under the fleeces. I am the hood. Every time the earth shake is when you feeling me speak. I don't try to talk too much, but the feeling is deep. Things I see every day make me crack open. Dope deal is so rock, say the crack open. February's confessions. I'm all ears and I keep my eyes open. Last time I fell asleep, I left the game wide open. Last time I fell asleep, I almost got my neck broken. Charge it to the hood, I might leave his face smoking. Look me. And many more. Shit, I'm also one of the biggest Soldier Boy fans you'll ever come across. And speaking of him, shit, I'll be the first to tell you, Lil B kept Soldier Boy relevant, bro. It was kind of around this time, like 2010, maybe 2011, where Soldier Boy started to fall off a little bit commercially, you know, mainstream wise. But if it wasn't for teaming up with Lil B, bro, Lil B was gaining so much steam and he was getting so hot. Them teaming up together was the best thing for Soldier Boy, for real, for real. But at the same time, Soldier Boy was jacking Lil B's swag heavy, bro. Trust me, he was he was really stealing his swag. Oh my god! 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 Damn, I had no fears. I feel like a bitch. And who do you know got a feature with a cat, bro? Yeah, I said that right. Lil B is the first and only rapper to have a feature with his own tabby cat, Kiki. <laughs> Holy shit, Kiki got bars, bro. How's he not signed yet? Sheesh. And Lil B's work ethic is unlike anything I've ever seen, bro. I'm one of the biggest Lil B fans out there, and I still don't have the time to catch up on all the music he's been dropping. This man dropped nine mixtapes from 2019 to now, and I'm not talking like a little EP or maybe like 15 songs. Nah, bro. 
This man got a hundred songs on most of these mixtapes. <laughs> I mean, come on, bro. Some of these shits are like five to seven hours long. And I'll never forget the day, bro. Back in 2010, your boy made a cooking dance video. You can see it here. I know, the quality is terrible. But this man Lil B literally commented on it the same night it was uploaded, bro. I was like, bruh. He said, swag, Lil B. I almost fainted. I'm not gonna lie, I almost fainted, bro. Oh yeah, and y'all remember when Lil B got sucker punched? <laughs> bro, that shit was crazy. I think he had got mad because Lil B didn't want to put him on his video or some shit. It was all over Worldstar. Shit is crazy, but yeah, Lil B deserves all the flowers in the world, bro. Nobody in the rap game is like him. Not one person. And back in 2016, me and my boy went to a Clams Casino and Lil B concert in Manhattan, and that shit was lit as fuck. He even let us all hop on stage with him, bro. That's dope as hell. No other rapper would ever do that. So yeah, clearly Lil B paved the way, bro. He even made his own cooking dance that went viral. The whole base god curse thing. Come on, bro. We all know this guy's a legend. So with that being said, make sure you protect the base god at all costs. Or else. I'm a fucker in the ass. What? Save sex. Or you don't even have to have sex at all. Hey, it's all good, baby. Lil B, baby.